All right, 4.2. Yesterday we were introduced to graphing or plotting is another word for that. Values on a number line. We started from the foundation of numbers that we've worked with on a regular basis, which is positive numbers or what you would call natural numbers or whole numbers. You don't need to know that just yet. Today we're going to gain experience with negative numbers and graphing. Uh, the, just remember that the number line is centered around the number zero. So the number that we always started with is our center of the number line. Because of this, we have to consider values on the other side of zero as negatives. So I'm just going to label this. We know how to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But what you do is from zero, you now go backwards one step. And of course, backwards be an opposite of um, going forward. So this is a positive one. This would represent negative one negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, and negative 10. I would recommend that you take a moment just to copy at least uh, this portion in your notes because I think going from 0 to 5 in, all, in both directions will help you understand how negatives and positives work together. So again, go ahead and do that for a moment. Um, but again, the key thing to remember here is that zero is your center so as you're going forward you go one two three as you're going backwards from zero you go negative one negative two negative three you just put a negative sign in front of whatever number it is so what I typically do when I count a negative six is I just go backwards and count to six one two three four five six and then I recognize because I went backwards that it is negative uh, typically values would be labeled so you can use them to figure out where you are uh, just look at a few examples here this one here, um, again, one of the things you want to be able to do whenever you see your um, answers or your questions, which you don't have to worry about in your homework, but it, as you move forward, you'll see this. This is not 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, which means that you're obviously not counting by 1. So I think it might be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Remember those multiples we did yesterday or started doing yesterday? That's kind of what it is. So negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10. So this should be counting by twos. You don't need to write this. Just pay attention to what I'm saying because, again, the key idea here is you will need to be able to read a graph and figure out what it's counting by. Um, looks to me if that's a 25, I don't think we're counting by threes or fours, maybe five. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So again, you can see something counting by fives. This one here is getting from 0 to 50 really quickly. So I'm assuming that it's probably going to be counting by uh, tens, maybe. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So again, if you were counting on this, this number would represent 10, 20 right there and so that's why you kind of want to be able to figure out what it is so that is called the scale the scales on the number line are used to fit more values into the view see if you can determine the scales on the next two number lines really quickly I'll count to seven and then I'll move forward this is getting from 0 to 15 I don't think it's one can't be one two three four nope I don't think it's 2. 2, 4, 6, 8. Once I get an odd number, it's not 2. It's definitely not 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's too much. I think it might be 3. So let's see if we think about counting by 3. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this would actually be counting by 3s. And again, you can do that. It's just very rare to see that. But again, it's something that you might have to do one of these days. And then when you look at this one, this actually has a decimal in it, so I think that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this would be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Yes, decimals do exist, and they will be popping up more and more as our year moves forward. But again, that would be something that you would have to consider as you kind of moved through all this stuff. Now that we have a solid introduction, let's look at what we're expected today to do in today's work. You're going to graph the number negative 6 on a number line. The key thing to remember here is that negative 6 is a negative number, so it does not move forward, it moves backwards. So all I have to do is start at 0, which is the center of my number line, and count 6 steps backwards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 should be my negative 6 that I am looking for. Again, if that was a positive 6, I would go 6 forward, but it's a negative 6, so I go 6 backwards. Graph the value 1. Again, starting at 0, we go forward one step because that's a positive 1. We put our dot, we label it with a 1. 
again on paper you simply put a zero here and go one put your dot on paper you go up here zero one two three four five six put your dot with a negative six sorry you can't see that but again the key thing here is remember everything starts at zero so make sure I can see where zero is at that way I know that you know what's going on if you were to ever have to put this on paper negative nine on number line again start at zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and it makes sense the negative 9 will be right next to negative 10. Again, on your own paper, just make sure you show me a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put your dot, label that as negative 9, and I'm good to go. So that's the key idea on what we're looking at for this stuff here. On your homework, though, it's going to look more like this. So you're going to be asked to figure out what value is being graphed, and so you'll have to look at it and count. This dot is to the left of 0, which means it's obviously negative. Plus, you can see it's between negative 5 and negative 10. So let's see. Just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's obviously negative 7. Next one here is here and it's to the right, which means it's positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or you could go 5, 6, 7, 8. Just like over here, you could go 5, 6, 7. But again, that's if you're getting good at it. I wouldn't force all that stuff, but that is the value 8. Another value being graphed here is to the left of 0, so I see it's negative, and it looks to me I go one step back, so negative 1 would be my number there, and so that's that. Again, you're going to see problems pertaining to multiples on your homework. This is to help you with the skill of counting by different amounts. So, real quickly, first 10 multiples of 4. 4, and I don't care if you even have to use your fingers, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and as I said, your last number, 37, 38, 39, 40. All your multiples should start at that number and end with that number with a zero behind it just to make sure you can get to that number. If you get to this and you get 41 or 43, it means you messed up somewhere in between. So go back and check it out. And again, at the end, if you've messed up a lot, just go ahead. Not a lot, but if you messed up more than you think you should, just grab your calculator and uh, type 4 times 1 or keep hitting plus 4, plus 4, plus 4 and write those numbers. Another weird one, first 10 multiples of 7. 7 plus 7 is 14. Here's what I do. 7 plus 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 is 11, but it can't be 11 because this was 14, which means I have to carry the 1 to get 21. 7 plus 1, because remember I'm adding 7 each time. 7 plus 1 is 8, and so to me that would be 28. If you don't know what 7 plus 8 is, I know that 7 plus 7 is 14. Add one more would be 15, so this would be 35. And again, even if you can't do it that way, just put 7 dots. And count 36, 7, 38, 39, 44, and 42. 2 plus 7 is 9. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So again, even using any kind of method possible to kind of get you where you need to be, the one thing you don't need to want to be doing is putting a whole bunch of dots to count to 56 because you're just counting by sevens, which means seven dots at least will get you to the next number. Starting at 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. 4, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, and because I ended on 70 and started at 7, I know I did it right. Again, I remind you to take advantage of this opportunity to knock out the material, prepare for the upcoming assessments. Remember that the test for this unit must be done next Friday, so there is no time for you to fall behind and say, hey, I didn't have time to take the test. If you do not take that test on Friday, it will be a zero for that quarter assessment. So again, make sure you're working yourself into position. Keep up with the speed of what's going on because the test that you take, again, you got a quiz this Friday, but your test next Friday must be done on that Friday. So again, just reminding you so that at the end of the quarter, you can have no excuses to say, I did not know. Again, that test that you're going to take for this unit must be done on that Friday. Other than that, go ahead and go to your Math XL and good luck.